I done been scared being in the hood before, but you can't look like it, bro. I barely even came in the store, okay. dummy. If you want to start, if you want to start throwing words like that, so much can I get you come to the back wall, please? Let me get this. Let's go. Now I'm gonna need you to unzip your jacket. Bro, you, you, I don't. I, I barely came Why in the are you store. With me if you didn't? I barely came in the just, store. Just you didn't even check just, them. Just cooperate. You didn't even oh, that's check all them. I need. But you didn't even check them. Because they didn't beat, but you did. Okay, and then you so checked the bag. The receipt that's is right the here. That's you're holding. Unzip your jacket. He's just throwing dirty words at me. Bro. He doesn't want to do anything. So like. I came from right there and walked right here. I didn't even come in the store. My when she said unzip your jacket just cooperate the first thing i thought of and it's not what you think that i thought of because i know some people's mind gonna be somewhere else but the first thing i thought of and maybe because how she looked is when the police say stop resisting arrest like who are you to tell somebody just to cooperate call the cops and let them like be the ones that's handling that like who are you see how i'm shaking you don't want me to get mad because i'm trying to up i will if ain't nobody believe her before, I know they believe her now. There's not enough women for men, period. I, I agree with that, and that's with every race. And then when you when you say you know black women have to be a size four and size six, no, we're gonna no 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 no, we're gonna stick on this black woman and our options thing. Tell me where okay. I've said black women's only option are black men. Tell me where I've said that. You, you, because you never talked about interracial dating. Tell me where I've about... said that. No, ma'am. No, 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 no. I have not said that. Matter of fact, I've said I don't care who you date. I date the best of whatever you can get. You're wrong. You're outright wrong. But you, but that doesn't matter. I'm sitting here telling you you're wrong. I'm asking you to tell me why I said it, and you can't even be woman enough to say, you know what? I'm sorry, sir. I did not listen to your content, and you're telling me I said something I didn't, and you can't prove it. It's going to sound crazy, but watching a lot of his content like two years ago, like constantly taught me how to never lose an argument against a woman, a woman, <laughs> because most women had like the same patterns and styles of argument. And a lot of times they don't be based on facts it'd be based on feelings, but they're really good at manipulating words. And, and by watching him, he taught me the best way to win an argument against a woman is to never let her take you off topic and stay on point and only address the logical things. If she can't get you to address the logical things, which most times they won't, because a lot of times they just want to emotionally win an argument, not logically win an argument, and you'll rarely lose an argument against her if you don't allow her to steer you outside of your logic and into your emotions. And you gotta see this. Okay, this is Brunello Cuccinelli. <laughs> oh, Brunello Cuccinelli jacket for $3,000. Scarves, trim. This is a similar Brunelli Cuccinelli, Cuccinelli, Cucci, you know, $1,200. This is Ralph Lauren, NYC. Ralph Lauren, crew neck sweater for $348. Is there a Keton? Yeah. Keton jeans for $1,250. And the shoes are Xenia? Xenia shoes for $850. I'll show you my watch. This is more of a formal watch. Mm -hmm. A Lange, one. A Lange watch for $25,000. This is... These are a Coney. This is a Coney glasses for six hundred ninety dollars. In shape, it's important to work out. Healthy. If you, if you have a great body and you work out, a man is wearing a two to three year salary on his body right now. Pause. And we living in a day and age where the average person can hardly buy a carton of eggs because prices on food is rising. And my man got like two hundred thousand dollars on him right now. And that's not even included how much money he got in his pocket. I'm locked in. I've had, I. It's all kind of men that get at me. When I'm locked in, I don't open a DM. I wish the fuck you would make mine feel lesser than. I push your shit back, bitch. I'm not playing with you. I don't want no man feeling comfortable. When I got, when I'm tucked away, I'm tucked away. So if you're, if you're allowing other men to feel comfortable with disrespecting your man, you the problem. It's you. And it's by way of you. And you would think this would be common sense, but people nowadays got to get on podcasts just to state the obvious Cause it's not even obvious no more. And I'll tell you what, so I'm heartless because of the simple fact that a girl once literally, I and I found out later, she literally said, I'm gonna let Aiden Ross pay for my college tuition. And then after she pays for my college tuition, I'm gonna leave him. So since that, I don't fuck with girls. And I will always have a soft spot for realizing how evil you guys are. And I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Not and all the way you. you guys can fake it. 
Y'all because off his experience, the faking it is crazy. Mm. I'm sorry, but the fact that I introduced you to my family, my it friends, was baby, Chad. that's baby. And you, and you, who and, was it? Baby. I'm saying for him, he has respect for her like that. He I don't have respect for anybody. Oh, fuck the respect. If she did that shit, fuck that bitch. So. <laughs> I love the people who's always willing to be politically incorrect. That guy in the green shirt back there was standing on business. <laughs> when somebody being politically correct and watching how they say certain things, I just feel like they're not really being authentic. Not really saying what you really think and what you really feel. Not saying politically correct is not necessary sometimes because sometimes you gotta be smart with how you say your words. But the person who's willing to be politically incorrect is authentic because that nigga don't care about what consequences come about come with what, what, what he just said. That's how he or she really feel. Nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? Nigga, what? Like, what you be on? Like, what's your angle? Like, like the way, like, what you... I'm an angry nigga. I figured. I, I wake up just like the rest of you niggas that shoot up the neighborhood, nigga. I wake up angry just like everybody else. A nigga that go to the club, that don't pay attention to no bitch, that tap his <coughs> and say, there go them whole ass niggas. I ain't no different than well, that. Well, how nigga. you an angry nigga and always popping your shit like you a happy nigga? Oh, so dude. now you contradicting shit because oh. when I be checking you out, you well, popping well, shit like you like a, a rapper or something. Oh, like that, oh. well, the rappers have always mimicked the street, the players from the streets. The rappers have never came up with their own identity. So you a carbon cop? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I was born before rap. Uh, nigga, I, I mimicked Uncle Wayne them who had a watch, who had a chain, who had a pinky ring. And we had called at their own in barbershops. Yeah, I'm a barbershop nigga. Oh, but, but, okay. but, but to go back to your feelings, uh, yeah, nigga, I'm contradicting. Nah, we, we standing on no. feelings. This ain't no feelings. No, nah, nigga, you we didn't have me. Your brain, nigga. That's why I don't like talking to young niggas. Nigga, I ain't young. Ain't young. How, how, are you? how are you? I ain't young. How do you? I'm old enough to know I'm standing on business answering <laughs> questions. How, how do you? Because you asked me a question and you won't let me answer. You asked me a question. Yeah, you but you want some police shit. I asked you something. You, you go with you, 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 the police question. Yo, 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 your first question was. Yo, your first question was. What's the oh, first question? Let me see how old ass got in my memory. Get them niggas back their money. They won't let me answer the question. Get them niggas back their money. You know, one of my biggest fears with Charleston White is as much stuff as he be talking or anything like that, all the podcasts he be going to. I'm just afraid he's going to go to the wrong podcast one day with the wrong enemies. You know, fortunately, that has not happened. He got to be careful, man. Because, you know, er, 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 you know, some haters out there. And I'm saying these things because I'm genuinely concerned for his safety and well-being. I hope he, I hope uh, Charleston White stays safe. Do you think it pisses off men seeing women make more money than them? We are incapable of feeling insecure to a woman because we're the head of the woman. God over man, man over woman, woman over children. Women now making more money, it's, it's making men like, they're scared. It's like, hold up, these women are catching up to us, you know? And they were using money to bait women. Now they can't, now they have to have game, now they have to be smart. You working doesn't make you look sexier. Like to us, we're not more attracted to you by you working. We don't really care about you working because even if I'm working and we're in a relationship, my money is your money and your money is your money. When a woman makes money, you get the sense of independency. Women were socially constructed to believe that if she's making a bag, she's independent. But when a man is making a bag, he never calls himself independent. Because when a man makes a bag, it's like, okay, he thinks about it in his mind. Oh, wow, I'm making this, I'm making over 100K. Man, I can get a, I can get a girl that's gonna follow my lead. I can create a family, stuff like this. When a woman is making 100K, she like, oh, forget this nigga, he only making 50. I agree with a lot of things he said, but I disagree with the statement that he made that it's impossible for a man, or it's incapable for a man to feel insecure to a woman. A man who's insecure, a person who's insecure, can feel insecure to anybody. If you've ever dealt with an insecure person, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like you don't know. You have to really see somebody. Right. Like Thank I want to see you when, I hate to say it, but I got to see you when your finances is low. Because men Hello. get mean when they broke. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You better know it. So I got yeah. to see you when your finances is low. You got to have them lost a couple of things. And you got to yeah. be real low. But we got to see y'all with no makeup on. I'm talking about like, on the first date, let's go to the pool. We ain't going out to no dinner. We, let's go out to the pool. Let's swim around in the pool. Let's get out. Let ourselves dry. And let us both observe each other ashy. With no makeup on. And see if we like what we see. Don't you run Don't you run off to no bathroom. None of that. I want to see what you look like. After you done went back to nature. It could be the beach. Anywhere. Dry off. I want to see how you look. 
before I could take you seriously. I definitely am, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we, appreciate, we appreciate that. We appreciate now, that. Yeah, yeah, one of my yeah, best friends talking. I ever had in my life. Yeah. I love him so much. Yeah. We've been through mad shit. <laughs> Listen, I done been scared being in the hood before many times, but you can't look like it, bro. When you look like you're scared, you, you, you make yourself a target. Like, you can't, you gotta act like you're not scared. You gotta look around how everybody else acting in an environment and then mimic that because they, they ain't their natural element. So, you gotta look at everybody else and then quickly adapt and mimic that so you can fit in, so you don't stand out. I know this is going to be a really hard listen, but people respect you differently depending on how you look. So I weighed 245 pounds and I've lost a little over 100 pounds. And my day to day is completely different from when I was 245 pounds. I wasn't seen as competition, so I wasn't like hated, if that makes sense. But now it's weird because when I walk in a room, I feel the energy completely shift, right? When I did weigh more, I was treated poorly by men. And now I'm treated poorly by women. <laughs> it's weird. She has no before and after pictures of when she was a big jump. I think she's just clout chasing. People just be on the internet saying anything for attention. This is what this man telling me. Like he really, you didn't have, he a, you really didn't have a warranty like, on the car. I, listen I, I, to what this I man telling me. Like, you. I'm, I'm sorry that you stuck, but I can nothing hey, for you right what? there. Wait, what, sir? You don't have you don't have a warranty on the car. There's nothing I can do for you. I just got the car literally within an hour ago, though, sir. You I literally, a paper I literally no just, li I literally just pulled out of the dealership no less than 15 I minutes ago, that. sir. What are you, what are you saying? You have no warranty on a car. It's is a is a as is car. You buy as is. Hello. Stacks Auto. Stacks Auto. This is Josh. Um. Hey, I had just came up there. Um, about 50, well, I just left about 15 minutes ago. I had just bought, um, the car from y'all. My name is, um. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had just left about 15 minutes ago and, um, the car just turned off on me and it's just not wanting to start back up. So I'm just trying to figure out, uh, like what, what what's going on. What do you mean it turned off on you? It just, like, I, I stopped at the store because I was going to fill it up with some gas and, um, it just, it's not turning back on. It's not doing nothing at all. I'm trying to figure out, like, I just literally got this car off the lot. Like, it shouldn't be no problems with this. Shouldn't, this shouldn't be happening right now. Well, we checked the car. It was it was running perfectly fine before you um got it. Did you, was you mashing I, the gas real hard? I mean, I know, I, I mean, I test drove it like any other person would test drive a car to make sure it was running. It was running good during the test drive, but all of a sudden, it's just not cranking up anymore or nothing. It's not having no type of power at all, so... I'm just trying to figure out, um, should I bring, like, if I bring the car back, are y'all going to give me my money back or what? Because, I mean, I might have to get a tow if these jumper cables don't work. I don't know what's going on. I got stuff to do. This is crazy. Um, well, I just spent too up. much money up there with y'all for this car to be breaking down no less than, it, it ain't even been a full day. It haven't even been a full hour. I'm really trying to figure out what's going on because there's no way that this car should be breaking down right now. Well, that car is we we told you before you um bought it. That's an no, you didn't. No, 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 no. Nobody yeah. told me nothing. Nobody told. I'm not trying to be that guy, but this is what happens when women say they don't need a man. If you had a man at the dealership with you, you would avoid all that.